So we live in Nelson Bay, which is by the ocean, and they've always been water babies. They could snorkel from the time they could swim. Well, my husband's obviously a scuba diver and a snorkel, so it's our family holidays have always been centered around snorkeling. And I just remember the first time he put his face beneath the surface and just saw there's a whole other world that exists on this planet that you just don't get an idea of unless you're in the water. So um, yeah, for him to have this opportunity today to see it close up on scuba diving was just absolutely phenomenal. And I know this is a passion that's gonna go with him for a lifetime. He's been snorkeling for years and obviously he's been too little to be able to scuba dive and so I think since he was six or seven he's been asking every year on his birthday is now the year I can scuba dive, is now the year I can scuba dive. So we finally reached it and as soon as he found out that he had this opportunity today he ran straight into the kitchen and marked the date on the calendar as Will's first scuba dive. The next generation of the futures of our ocean and seeing the expression, seeing how they enjoy it so much and knowing what they're going to do with the experience that they've had when they come out, that they've actually visualised what's under there without being on the surface looking down. And with Will, his dad is a scientist, so he's a lucky boy, he's learnt a lot already, but for him to actually go down and experience it, um, it's just a fantastic thing. It's my happy place, so I hope it's every child's happy place. And judging by the smile on his face when he came out, it's Will's happy place now, and he's experienced what his dad experiences and what's down there. The ocean means a lot, and it's kind of annoying how everyone just pollutes it, because um, there's all amazing fish and sea creatures in there that don't really deserve to die. It's like any kid out of their comfort zone, they don't have that fear factor yet, so they're pretty much fearless, which is can be troublesome sometimes, but majority of the time, yeah, they're fearless. So they don't have that sense of fear there, well, not that I've seen it yet, and they just push through and they just explore endlessly. I just like seeing all the animals and swimming around, seeing everything underneath the surface of the water. It was really exciting because then I can go deeper and breathe underwater, so it was kind of new for me. I was kind of nervous but also really excited at the same time because there's just so much new stuff to learn. Because when you're snorkeling or swimming, you can't breathe underwater, so it's just very different than walking around or swimming above the surface. The underwater world is a different kingdom and the people that don't get to experience they're missing out. So if you can get them into it at a young age with kids and they grow up and they tell their parents about it, it encourages everyone to get involved and they go away with this sense of happiness of what they've just seen. It's just a massive win for everyone. It's just like really nice and when you go under there's like a whole new world under there with all the other fish and that stuff like seahorses and turtles so they can't walk like us they just swim and don't touch the floor I was actually really nervous for him 
I mean, I know he can snorkel, but you know, he's, he's coming from the background of a marine scientist, so there's a lot of expectations on him. So to see him in the water and to see him do really well, I'm really proud of him today. What a great effort that he did. It's really important that kids appreciate, understand how important our marine environment is because over time we're going to actually lose a lot of marine species, we're going to lose a lot of marine habitats. So if they can see it now and appreciate it now, then they'll learn to grow up and love it as well. It was really, really cool being able to like breathe and really fun seeing things deeper down underwater and up close.